Hello there YouTube. We have been discussing so many custom tactics. The 541, the 3421, the 4321. What is the best custom tactic for you guys? I am going to show you the complete custom tactics, right? Before we get started, don't worry about the loan cards. This is my pro tournament team and the loans are eligible for that. Okay, with that being said guys, first and the main primary formation, okay? We always need to have one formation that is our go-to. And for me, not the fancy 541, not the fancy 3421. For me, it is always a more balanced, a more neutral formation, and that is the 442. Okay, it's a very neutral formation. So you always want to start the game with the neutral formation. For me, the 442 is the best because I have been playing it since the past three years and I have a good grip of how it plays in game. Okay. Now for you, I can also recommend a 4222. Similar formations, however, the 442 provides you more with. If you want to attack more through the center. You are more than welcome to use the 4222. It's a very good formation. Okay. For me, these two are the best formations to start out a game. For the instructions, this time I am using both of my strikers as target player. Because especially after the patch, I always want them to receive the ball on top of the box, right? Once they do that, my strength is to skill move past a player and go for a goal or create some space for an extra pass. Now hear me out carefully, do not skip and just copy paste like a dummy because it will not help you, okay? I use target player because my strength is playing the ball towards the feet of the striker on top of the box, right? But if you are someone who wants to play more quick and he wants to play over the top through balls, which you can still play with this style, but you wanna trigger manual runs, you can put one of the strikers, the faster one on getting behind and the other one on balance, right? If this does not work for you. But for me, I'm using both of my strikers as target player, okay? Your CMs, as always, stay back while attacking cover center. However, they are going to be involved in attack a lot. So you have to have someone who's very offensive like Zidane, right? You can also play. There are so many options now. Like, I cannot think from the top of my head, but you have Footwear de Gunduzi who can do 5-star skills. He's a very good player that you can use, okay? LM is going to be completely balanced i tried comeback i tried everything but no i am using lm as balanced and the rm is also going to be balanced the rb is stay back while attacking the lb is stay back while attacking the the tactics are as follows okay 45 width i have been experimenting with 60 depth it works well if your right stick switching is not good go with 60 if it is good and if you know how to switch go with 71 the auto offside traps will help you against certain players build a play is always going to be balanced yes i can be fancy for the sake of views and tell you okay i have discovered a new tactic fast build up direct passing or possession whatever no i will give you the best tactic in my opinion that is always balanced and chance creation direct passing for the 442 the width is going to be 45 players and the box is going to be five now this is our main formation that we always use from minute one but it will always not work for you that is why we have to have Fancy formations like the 3421, these are very versatile formations. And once your 442 isn't working, and for example, if you see the opponent is vulnerable on the wings and he isn't that good going forward, but he is good in defense, then you can use the 3421 to open him up. Okay, for the 3421, our striker is going to be stay central, get in behind. Pretty neutral instructions. Our RF is going to be stay central, LF is going to be stay central. Our more defensive LM is going to be come back on defense. The more offensive RM is going to be stay forward. Our CMs are going to be stay back while attacking cover center and that is it. It's a pretty neutral formation. For the tactics for this formation, we have, we have tried 45 width, but we are going back to 35 width. Our depth is going to be 71. Our build-up play is going to be balanced. Our chance creation is going to be direct passing. We are going to use 50 width. It's pretty neutral because in this formation, see, once you are with the LF, often the LM and the RM will give you overlapping runs. And this is what makes the 3421 so good. The overload it creates for you on the wing, right? So we are going to use the 50 width. We are not going to put it 40 or 45 like we usually do. Place in the box is going to be 5 corners and free kicks is going to be one once again with the depth if your switching is not good you can put it to 65 so your team does not do stupid auto offside traps and you're not able to switch in time and you concede easy goals right if that is the case go with 65 otherwise 71 now the 5-4-1 formation when do we use the 5-4-1 formation 
again using it from minute one will not work for everyone why because this is a new formation for most players right most of us have been playing the 4-4-2 the 4-2-3-1 the 4-3-2 for so many years now if you are to play a completely new formation like a 5-4-1 from minute one of course you will not get as many good results you might get a few good results here and there but that is it with formations it is not luck it is strategy and you need to know the patterns by heart okay i played this game i have played this formation for like 50 games now so i have a good grip on it i use it when i see the opponent is too good offensively and i need more players in the box and also i want to create some kind of attacking overload that is when i go with the 5-4-1 stay central Come back on defense, conservative interceptions on the striker. Our LM is going to be come back on defense and get into the box for the cross. My instructions are going to be different than the most instructions you are going to see on YouTube, okay? LWB is going to be join the attack overlap. Our RWB is going to be balanced overlap. Our RM is going to be completely balanced and support runs again target player. And one of your CMs is going to be cover wing in my example because all over on the LWB is going forward, join the attack. Our LCM is going to be cover wing. Now this is our mayhem formation 4-2-4. Go all out attack. This is our formation, constant pressure 45 with 85 depth, pass build up, chance creation, chance creation forward runs. 55 width, 8 players in the box. Instructions, again, everyone is on neutral. Instructions, balanced instructions, however, in the game, I use attacking fullbacks, get into the box for cross and everything from the deep part instruction. So these are my complete and the best tactics that I am going to continue further even for FGS. So these are my tactics. I've experimented with everything and I believe as of right now, this is the most complete and the best tactical setup on FIFA 23.